The British publicist at the center of the Donald Trump Jr. Russian meeting is a well-connected show business figure who has built a relationship with the Trumps, but it is his link to a Russian oligarch which is at the heart of the growing scandal. Rob Goldstone, 57, boasts of his connections to Michael Jackson, Richard Branson, and Bob Geldof on his company's website. Behind the scenes, his newly published emails make clear that his connections to Donald Trump Sr. and Jr. were close to, being on first-name terms with Donald Jr. and Rona Groff, Trump's executive assistant and Trump Tower gatekeeper. But it is Goldstone's work in Russia in recent years which is the key to his explosion into the limelight. Goldstone is the manager of Emin, real name Emin A. Galarav, a 37-year-old Russian pop star whose connections take him to the heart of Putin's autocracy. A. Galarav's father is Russian Azerbaijani Aras A. Galarav, a billionaire retail mall and property development magnate whose Crocus Group is one of Russia's biggest companies. He is known to be close to Putin. Out of the shadows, Rob Goldstone Wright, and his client Emin Left, a pop star whose father is a Putin-friendly Russian billionaire, were captured on camera with Trump during the now President's 2013 visit to Moscow. Dealmakers, Arase Galarav second left, and his son Emin, set out to woo Donald Trump to bring Miss Universe to Moscow, traveling to Las Vegas to build a relationship with the then-tycoon Goldstone as Emin's music manager. Success, this was the scene when Trump brought his Miss Universe to Moscow, with Emin left, and Arase Galarav right, posing with him their branding was side by side now the FBI will look into what happened next. Link Goldstone was present as Trump and the A. Galarav spent time in Moscow for Miss Universe then three years later he used the continuing relationship to set up the meeting between Donald Trump Jr. and Natalia Vasilitskaya, saying it was to offer incriminating official Russia information. Happy Together, in Miami Beach and on December 31, 2014 M. imposed with his sister Sheila, a realtor, and his manager Goldstone. And M. was until last year married to Leila Olivea whose father Ilham Aliyeva is the president of Azerbaijan, and an ally of Putin. That Putin relationship appears to be the one which is critical to the meeting between Trump Jr. and Natalia Vasilitskaya, which was sensationally revealed over the weekend. Goldstone is the man at the center of the web and an unlikely figure for international intrigue. He was born in Manchester, in the north of England, and brought up in its tight-knit Jewish community leaving school at 16 to become a local newspaper reporter. He worked for regional newspapers in the UK and freelanced for national titles including, on his own account, The Sun and The Sunday Mirror, and then moved into broadcast, working for LBC, the London commercial news radio station, which resulted in him spending time with Bob Geldof, the Irish pop singer turned humanitarian, in Ethiopia in the wake of Live Aid. Goldstone told the Jewish Telegraph that he relocated to Australia, where he covered Michael Jackson's tour in 1987. The former show business journalist went into public relations, setting up first his own company then working for British recording label HMV, who moved him to New York, where in 1997 he set up OUI2, his current PR firm. Over time it was involved in promoting events in the city such as Sting appearing in Central Park a Tony Bennett gala, and awards shows featuring Martin Scorsese and Tom Cruise a string of selfies accompanied the contracts. Goldstone offered an account of how he went from a jobbing New York music PR to an oligarch's intimate to the Jewish Telegraph. He told the British newspaper that he was called by then Sony Music slash ATV chairman Martin Bandier, who is now retired, and asked to manage M in the connection came through Sony Israel, Goldstone said. Reluctantly, he said, he accepted what he did not say is that the offer would be certain to have been lucrative and politically intriguing. FBI questions, officers assigned to special counsel Robert Mueller will want to establish exactly how Goldstone came to know Natalia Vasilitskaya. Conflicting stories, Donald Trump Jr. left, and Vasilitskaya right, have told conflicting stories about their meeting. Emin is also a vice president of his father's billionaire company The parallels to Donald Trump Jr. are easy to draw A. Galarav SNR is known as the Donald Trump of Russia and both sons were until recently vice presidents of the family construction and property firms. 
The first dealings between the Trumps and the A. Galaravs appear to have been around 2012 although in 2008 Donald Trump Jr. made frequently trips to Moscow, and his father spoke approvingly about the market there. The A. Galaravs do not appear to have been involved but they started wooing the Trumps to bring Miss Universe to Moscow. The relationship between the Trumps and the A. Galaravs reached its height in 2013 when Trump held his Miss Universe pageant in Moscow, his last and only second known visit to Russia his only other known visit was in 1987. The A. Galaravs essentially paid for Miss Universe to come to Moscow and their branding was all over the event. On the red carpet, Trump posed with the billionaire father and his son Emin, along with the winner of the pageant. Trump obligingly appeared in his celebrity apprentice persona for Emin, and there were moves to finalize a deal to build a Moscow Trump Tower. Agarlov SNR hosted a dinner for the now president and also there was the British PR and music manager. Largely in the background, he can be seen in one image captured by a Russian television station, standing on Trump's left, with Emin on Trump's right. What the emails released on Tuesday by Donald J.R. make clear is that Donald J.R., Goldstone, and by extension Emin had maintained a relationship in the wake of Miss Universe. In March 2014, before Trump's run for office, Emin hosted an event at one of the Trump golf courses a picture posted to social media showed him, Trump and Ivanka smiling together. Goldstone's social media shows that he has been a frequent visitor to Moscow and to Azerbaijan. The A. Galaravs, father and son, are both dual Russian and Azeri nationals, and the social connection between Emin and the Putin friendly regime there, thanks to being the president's son in law until his divorce in 2016, appears not to have harmed his pop career. The A. Galaravs are, of course, more than businessman and a would be worldwide pop singer. A. Galarav SNR is an intimate of Putin. Video star, Emin managed to get President Trump to star in his music video back in 2013 above. Relationship, in 2014, Emin hosted an event at one of Trump's golf clubs and posed alongside the then tycoon and his daughter Ivanka. Leverage, on the day Goldstone emailed Donald Trump Jr. to suggest a meeting, he was at one of Moscow's most elite venues, with Emin. The bombshell email. This is the message which has created the political scuttle which has erupted since Saturday. In 2013, just before the Miss Universe pageant, the oligarch was awarded one of the nation's highest awards, the Order of Honor. The reason was not spelled out but the connection was clear little business is done in Russia without Putin's say-so. What will now be at the heart of the Russian investigations taking place in Washington is how exactly Goldstone became acquainted with Veselitsky as she claims to have been acting independently of the Kremlin, and the Kremlin have claimed they do not even know who she is. But that appears unlikely. Veselitsky, 42, is seen in Moscow as having ties to Russia's vast security structures, known as the Siloviki, via her ex-husband, who was a former senior state prosecutor and other associates. Veselitsky rose to prominence after marrying Alexander Mitisov, often operating in close tandem with his daughter from a previous marriage, lawyer Natalia Mitisova, only four years her junior. He was once described as a shady cardinal who sorts various tricky questions with the Siloviki for the elite in Moscow region, while he was also an owner of his wife's legal business. Called the sharpest lawyer in Moscow region, Veselitsky was nicknamed the prosecutor's bride because of her link to Mitisov. That led to her defending Denis Katsev in New York on tax fraud charges. Katsev's father is the vice president of the state-owned railways, and seen as part of the circle around Putin. There is no known direct connection yet between her and the A. Galaravs, but business in Moscow operates on the basis of who you know. Social media shows that Goldstone was in Moscow with Emin when he sent the email to Trump Jr. suggesting the meeting. What the FBI will look into is how Veselitsky came to know Emin, and Goldstone, before her meeting with Trump Jr. Of course both the lawyer and the billionaire construction magnate are close to Putin's inner circle. That means the FBI will also look into whether the A. Galaravs were told by the Kremlin to facilitate the meeting, which would mean they turned to Goldstone their conduit to the Trumps. In the wake of the election, the A. Galaravs kept in with the Trumps, with Emin being the conduit for the relationship. Last act, 
this was the picture Goldstone pictured as the international scandal of the meeting with Don J.R. unfolded. By his own account, given to Forbes magazine, he spent time with Trump in Trump Tower before he announced he was running for president. The presidential run killed off the deal the A. Galaravs were hoping for, side by side Trump and A. Galarav Towers in Moscow. Still Emin sent congratulations to Trump on his victory in November and received a handwritten note in return. He will give you extra attention if he likes you, he told the magazine he does not forget his friends. Meanwhile Emin's career since then has certainly risen, for which Goldstone will take at least some credit. Earlier this year the Russian singer performed at a concert in St. Petersburg with David Foster, the veteran music producer then embarked on an American tour covering Miami, New York, and Chicago. Managing Emin has also afforded Goldstone a chance to pursue his interest in travel to destinations including Brazil, and his native England. He lives in a condo in Hoboken, New Jersey, just across the Hudson from New York it is jointly owned with David Wilson, a close friend, and he commutes to an office in Chelsea, Manhattan when he is in the city. He appears to be a member of Soho House, the elite media members club, and is a friend on social media of gossip columnists and entertainment journalists in New York and London. When his involvement in the Russian affair emerged he and Wilson were on a cruise from Venice to Athens, apparently largely unaware of what was happening. In between posting pictures of himself with some of the young male staff he had met on board and on his travels, he posted a selfie in a shop, wearing the laurel leaves of a Roman emperor. Now he finds himself at the center of the sort of political intrigue which could have been drawn from the courts of the Caesars themselves. Not his first selfie, how portly Goldman played friend to the stars. Risky business, Rob Goldstone, 57 has documented his celeb encounters on his Facebook page over the years above with Tom Cruise in 2012. Bad, he has posted photos of himself with the likes of Michael Jackson above, Tom Cruise and Tina Turner. Life on the D-List, Kathy Griffin posted a photo of herself with Goldstone in 2010 above, to her social media accounts on Monday. Goldstone, 57, is not shy at all about sharing the details of his life which include lavish trips and much time in the company of attractive young men. And it also includes time in the company of celebs like Cruz, who Goldstone posted a photo with back in 2013, writing, A year ago I was in a kitchen with Tom Cruise. Unfortunately, he did not offer any further details or an explanation as to why he was in a kitchen with Cruz. Then there was the photo of Jackson, which was posted on the anniversary of his death in 2014, with Goldstone commenting, Five years ago Michael Jackson died I still treasure my time spent with him in 1989 on Bad Album. Later that same year he also commented, I was walking to my hotel room tonight and I think I saw Michael Jackson pushing his room service trolley out of another room could be wrong as I am basically demented. He even posted a photo of himself and President Trump in November of 2016, just after he won the election. I see I made it onto Russian TV news today with Emin and Donald Trump, wrote Goldstone. His client Emin, the attractive pop star son of a Russian billionaire, is often featured on his social media accounts. Check this out, Goldstone checked into Trump Tower on the same day that Don Jr. met with. Emin also appears to have been the person who brought Goldstone into the Trump family's orbit with the 37-year-old performing at the Miss Universe pageants in 2013 in Moscow after his father hosted the pageant. That year, Trump even appeared in a music video made by Emin to mark the pageant. And in 2010, Goldstone also posed for a pic with noted Trump enemy Kathy Griffin, which the comedian posted on social media Monday. OMFG don't recall taking this 2010 pick W Russian intermediary Rob Goldstone but I am wearing my dynasty hat preparing for MY interview W Mr. Mueller, wrote Griffin. Someday, somehow, I will be able to share my crazy ass story of everything that has happened post pick the story will not stop unfolding which for a comedian, it's actually a fantastic thing. The meeting, first reported by the New York Times on Saturday, took place two weeks before Trump officially won the Republican nomination. The president's son-in-law, Jared Kushner, and then-campaign chairman, Paul Manafort, 
set in. Ryan's Priebus and President Trump himself were also at Trump Tower that day, but were not said to be at the meeting. Hello there, President Trump was at Trump Tower on the day of the meeting. In on it, Paul Manafort above, who attended the meeting was seen at the Four Seasons that day for a GOP fundraiser. Stopping by, Ryan's Priebus above, was seen arriving at Trump Tower the day of the meeting but was not said to have attended D. Familiar face, New Jersey Gov Chris Christie leaves the Four Seasons Hotel after a GOP fundraiser. The meeting was held on the same day that a GOP fundraiser was taking place at the nearby Four Seasons in New York City. That event included attendees like Governor Chris Christie, Corey Lewandowski, Don McGahn, and Mel Sembler. Goldstone meanwhile checked into Trump Tower on Facebook more than a year later, the consequences of the meeting are shaking the White House and the stock markets.